Well, hey guys, happy Friday and welcome back to the build of our house. Thanks guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And when you do hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified when we release new videos. All right, so it's Friday today. Didn't get a whole lot done this week because we are held up waiting for the roof. So we did get confirmation that the roof may be here by next Friday. We we're expecting it maybe portions of it for the garage by today, but that didn't happen. So now they're saying maybe by next Friday, but most likely the Monday after. So basically we have a week or over a week to wait, which sucks, but that's the way it is. You got to deal with it. So um, anyways, we're just doing miscellaneous little things here and there. Um, I'll show you kind of what we're doing, but uh, it's really not that exciting, but uh, I'll show you. All right, so we're just doing miscellaneous little things. So one of the main things that I was working on today is this point load blocking. So what that is, is you've got beams and stuff that come all the way from the roof or the roof itself, and that needs to go all the way down to the foundation. So we've got point load blocking in a bunch of places, like there's an example of it. This beam right here, or this column holds up the beam. That's another example. You know, there's another one right there in the stairwell. And there's some over there on the sports court wall. So for that, it's just messing around basically and you're just making sure it's uh, it's got enough supports in there and it goes all the way down to uh, the concrete or, or the foundation, um, depending on where it is. So that's what I've been working on all day today. Got some of this stuff done on the common wall between the garage and the house and I just moved to the basement. Um, Les was out here today, unfortunately his, uh, n about an hour ago, he just got noticed that his mom passed away. So um, he took off and uh, is headed down to Lethbridge to take care of that stuff. So um, if you, I don't think Les watches the videos, but if you do Les, sorry, um, those things always, uh, always suck, so. All right, so that's basically what we're working on and uh, I'm done for the day today, so. Uh, just a lot of messing around left to do. We have the point load blocking to finish. So I'll continue with that over the next couple days. So also down in the basement where this point load blocking goes all the way to the ground, we have some areas where we didn't put concrete underneath. So I need to uh, figure that out as well too. So we got to uh, do some concrete work. And then uh, lastly, continue on with the prep of the windows. I got another case of material and uh, I can continue doing that on some of the windows until I run out, which won't be very long. So anyways, guys, that is uh, a little bit of the update of today. Our trees way off in the distance over there. Maybe you can see the water jugs. Um, anyways, the trees are doing amazing and uh, very impressed with those things. They are very hardy. And now that they're getting watered uh, as essentially every single day, it's going really well and they're doing, uh, they're doing awesome. So that's exciting. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna clean up guys and we will see you probably tomorrow. Good morning guys, happy holiday Monday. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Uh, it's pouring rain in our part of the world right now. It's pouring rain in Calgary. And I'm out here at the property, out here at the house. We've got some stuff that we need to get done. So, fortunately, I'll be working in the basement which is going to be mostly dry. Um, we will have some moisture coming through the basement, but uh, yeah, there's a couple things we need to get done in preparation for the roof trusses coming. So what that is, is we need to put some concrete underneath our point loads that come all the way to the foundation. I know that's technical, but uh, there's a couple areas and then it'll make more sense. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. And then um, need to finish up the point load blocking, but the primary thing is to get that concrete installed and get it curing before um, next, this coming weekend kind of thing when the roof trusses are supposed to show up. So uh, I'm gonna try and make my way as close as possible to the basement, try and stay as dry as possible and uh, get this done. This is what I'm doing today, guys. So basically, if you look at some of these areas in the basement, uh, where the point load blocking, so that's the, the blocking that comes all the way down to the footings of the house. You want to have that resting on concrete. So in areas like that, it's hitting concrete, that corner of that door, because we put concrete in a, in a T right there. 
you look at an area like this and there's a gap underneath there. So that's the area that I need to fill. And then like this spot here, if you watch it, follow it all the way down, boom, there's concrete underneath, right? So we don't need to do anything there. And then here's another one as well that comes all the way down and there's a gap underneath there. So fortunately I've only got two spots to do. So all I've done here is put OSB on the back side and screwed it in. And then I created this little um, kind of chute held up by the two by six. And because what I need to do is I need to get this completely full all the way to the bottom. So my thinking here, because I'm by myself, is gonna hold it like this and scoop it in there with the bucket. Once it's like packed full, jam that thing up, screw it in place and that will uh, cure it nicely. I hope, I hope this all works. So doing the same thing right there as well too, OSB on the backside, fill that little chute, close it, screw it in place. So fingers crossed that this thing works. All right guys, so this actually worked out quite well. So thumbs up, that was awesome. All right guys, I don't know how long it's been since we did uh, the last clip previous to this one, but uh, we have roof trusses. They showed up a few days ago and unfortunately our framer is not available until next week. Right now it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. So it's Wednesday and uh, so yeah, they'll be starting on that on Monday. So right now we're kind of just taking care of odd jobs. So we have our front porch area. We've got these four roughly five foot sono tubes to fill. We've got 23 bags of concrete in the back of the truck, a mixer paddle, a bucket, a radio, some help and some water. And we're gonna fill these things up with concrete. All right, and that was the goal, guys, to fill those sauna tubes up with concrete and get the saddles in place. So we've got one, two, three, four. So then what we're going to do is there's also this as part of the deck, too. So this one you can see is lower than that one. So we're going to just put a little sauna tube extension on there so it ends up being the same height as that one. So we're just going to set that on top. We've already cut the rebar, which was really tall. And then we're going to have a sauna tube or a concrete form thing that uh, matches up with the other ones. All right, good morning, guys. Here is the result of what we were doing the other night uh, with the concrete posts and stuff. So that all worked out uh, worked out good. So after we left, Les actually put that the piece of wood in and, and just so everything was going to get lined up because those posts were, uh, or the forms were fairly floppy. And... Uh, Obviously we didn't want anything to happen to them. So that worked out amazing. And yes, I've got my sun hat on today. It's supposed to be a crazy hot day today. Last night we were out here and we started 
making the first section of roof. Where is it? Right over there somewhere. I can't see. Anyways, that's uh, that's going up in the that's the bonus room roof. So that's the front section of that roof, and then we have a, a back section to build as well too. So that's what uh, we were working on last night. Went and bought uh, some more two by sixes today. So uh, pockets are now fully empty again of money because. Uh, we have to pay $37 right now and I'm I'm really telling you this because years from now when I look back on these videos and you know we'll look at how the house changed and everything um, I can't believe that we're paying $37 for a 16 foot 2x6 it is insane insane so um, but it's what we have to do right now we can't just stop so uh, all those 2x6s we got are for the roof so there's a bunch of uh, material that we still need to uh, to supply for the roof. So, so we're out here today, probably gonna be working on the roof, probably gonna be doing some waterproofing stuff by the front door, so a whole bunch of stuff to get done today. Well guys, I was just watering the trees. It's about seven o'clock, maybe 7.15, something like that. And uh, we had a long day out here, it was a hot day, it was sunny all day, it was awesome. So if you look off in the distance, oh, maybe you can see it. But uh, we've been working on that roof section all day and last night. So it's a nice big roof section. We just started sheeting it and everything now um, in the evening and it worked out good. So still a lot to do on it, but it's getting closer. So that roof section goes right there on the house. So over top of the TV room, but that's the whole section right there. So we're hoping that we can build it uh, and the uh, the lift that we have, the boom lift, will be able to get it up there. That's the hope. We did get some bad news today. Our framer sprained his ankle. He's been away on another job, um, and we've been waiting for him. And unfortunately, he is now unavailable. So we're a little bit screwed. I'm gonna go home and get some food. Thanks for uh, for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, well, it uh, was a productive day today. Uh, it's Saturday today, and we had a, quite a few friends come out today and help us. We got a ton of roof installed today, which was absolutely amazing. So when we found out that our framer was not available to start on Monday, uh, we put a couple feelers out, and one of our friends who... Um, has been basically framing his entire life, who has retired from framing, came out and helped us frame the house or frame everything that's done. So if you look up there, we got a ton of the roof installed today, the main roof, which is amazing. So we put a long day in today, it's about eight o'clock at night, but we got basically almost the entire package of big trusses main roof section installed, which, uh, if me and you know less and a couple of the people working on on ourselves it would have taken days and uh, so thank you to all you guys that helped I appreciate it we appreciate it and uh, it's it's absolutely awesome there's a shot of the uh, gable on the side of the house and then working our way towards the front so that section that we built over there started with that goes on top up there, which is hopefully gonna make more sense now, but uh, big progress today. So that's what we got done today. There was a bunch of rain that kind of rolled in. There was a tornado warning or tornado that happened in uh, a little bit south uh, east of us, southwest of us, yeah, southwest of us. So anyways, it was a great day, sun shining again tonight. It's a peaceful night tonight and uh, it's absolutely awesome out here. So. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in and uh, you know, joining us on this lovely adventure building our wonderful house. But uh, it's pretty exciting that we got a roof installed today or a portion of our roof installed today and we've got uh, things progressing. So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you are not subscribed and we will see you in the next video. Lots of progress that's happening now. It's awesome.